County police officers with 24-hour patrol cars should report immediately to their district substations, and all members of the Kentucky State Police who live in the Louisville area are to call the Elizabethtown Post. That's all state policemen who live in the Louisville area should call the state police post at Elizabethtown. The time is one minute before 6 o'clock. This is WHAS News. I'm Byron Crawford, and along with Glenn Baston and Chuck Paddock and uh, a host of other reporters who come in now and then, we're trying to keep you posted as best we can on the situation in the wake of the tornado which hit Louisville and Jefferson County, southern Indiana, and other counties around Louisville this afternoon. Suburban Hospital here in Louisville reports that at least 25 persons have been received for treatment of injuries suffered in the storm which hit the metro area this afternoon. The hospital says the injuries are of varying degree and that more injured are coming in. Again, Suburban Hospital, one of the hospitals out in the eastern section of the county, near I-64 says at least 25 persons have been received for treatment of injuries and that more are coming in. General Hospital now tells us that they have received seven injuries as a result of the storm which moved through Louisville and Jefferson County this afternoon. In Indiana, at least 11 persons are known dead. 25 to 30 more are said to have been injured, but those are only preliminary figures. The authorities in Indiana, more than one, have asked for National Guard assistance, and we can assume that uh, we'll hear something shortly from Governor Otis Bowen of Indiana. Governor Ford of Kentucky told Glenn Baston a few minutes ago, and that was later reaffirmed by County Judge Todd Hollenbach, that the National Guardsmen and policemen in Louisville and Jefferson County are out in force to do what they can to help you, and most of all to protect the property that was damaged make sure that uh, it's not looted and what have you. Meantime, if you don't have to be on the roadways, stay off. And if you don't have to make a telephone call, don't. And if you don't have to take a shower, don't take a shower or even drink water because uh, we are uh, experiencing problems with the water supply. The tornado apparently scored a direct hit on the water company's pumping station in Crescent Hill this afternoon. We just talked with Frank Campbell, the chief engineer for the Louisville Water Company, and he told us that uh, we have something in the neighborhood of eight hours water supply left. No problem, he says, providing people conserve water as best they can. And that means that uh, if we don't have to use it unnecessarily, please uh, remember what he said and don't try to uh, store a huge amount of water up because that's going to damage... Uh, the efforts completely. If you uh, don't have to use the phone, as we said, don't use it because the lines are being tied up with calls to the Weather Bureau and what have you. Uh, we're well aware of uh, extensive damage in Louisville and Jefferson County, and uh, news people and authorities are out in force now trying to find out where the hardest hit areas were, and there will be help there sometime within the next few hours, we can assume. This is WHAS News. The time is two minutes past six. We might point out to those of you who probably uh, uh, are tuning in or some of you are tuning in to hear the world tonight. We are going to preempt that broadcast because of the weather situation in Kentuckyana so that we can continue to update that information. Uh, the situation is this, Alderman Gentry. Uh, this is Glenn Baston at WHAS Radio, and we are on the air live, sir. Could I put you on the air and ask you from your command post uh, what the situation looks like? Uh, I'll be glad to. All right. You were, uh, I understand, talked with Governor Ford a little bit earlier and did ask for some guard assistance within the city. Is that, that correct? That is right. Where are the hardest hit areas from your command post? Uh, well, uh, around the fireground and, uh, is the worst, I believe. Where are you asking that the guard be directed to? Uh, they were directed to go straight to the fire ground. Okay. Do you, uh, have you placed a request for where they might be dispatched after they uh, are assembled at the fairgrounds? No. We are just, uh, we're dispatching them to the, the most uh, places they are needed when they get there. Do you have any indication, sir, of uh, injuries and things of that nature? Well, uh, about 100 so far, as I've got a check on. Within the city limits? Within the city limits, yeah. Uh -huh. We are of the opinion that uh, within the city, probably the area around Seneca Park was the hardest hit. Does uh, that, uh, Seneca Park and uh, around Eastern Parkway, Barstown Road, and Lexington Road was uh, the hardest place it was hit. And I've got uh, heavy equipment on the way out there now to clean out and help to get it where we can get started moving again. And uh, 
I just got a call from the water company that they're almost wiped out in the east section of the river on water, and we've asked everybody if they'll cut down on the water as much as possible. Alderman Gentry, are you having any problems with sightseers? Uh, well, we always have trouble with that. What about, uh, we, we are also told that uh, there may be some difficulties with the telephones. Uh, have you had any indication of that? We have no indication of that, none whatsoever. Okay, Alderman, thank you much for talking with us. We'll yes. let you get back to work now. Okay, thank you. Alderman Gentry, who is uh, acting mayor, Mayor Sloan is out of town. I don't know whether he's on vacation. I think maybe he is taking a vacation. But uh, uh, he, too, has asked for National Guard assistance within the city of Louisville. Uh, he seems to think that, uh, as, as everyone else does, that the eastern area of the city is the hardest hit. I guess we could uh, run down for you, uh, uh, Byron, if you have available to you there among the papers we have piled up, what the latest situation with these warnings and things of that nature is. Uh, quite possibly we have John Burke coming back in on the line there, Jeff. If you would check it, please. Yeah. It's five minutes past six o'clock uh, from WHAS Louisville. Again, let us repeat, please do not use water unless you have to. Do not use the telephone unless you have to. We have been asked to urge all members of Headquarters Battalion, 23rd Artillery Corps, to report to the Fairgrounds Armory immediately. All members of the Headquarters Battalion of the 23rd Artillery reporting to the Fairgrounds immediately. All Jefferson County police officers with the 24-hour patrol cars should report immediately to their district substations. All Jefferson County 24-hour patrol members to their district substations. If your area of the city was not affected, or your area of the metropolitan area of Louisville was not affected by this storm, please do not tonight go out to those areas that were. These uh, emergency vehicles and those people who are attempting to clean up uh, the devastation that was caused by the storm uh, simply cannot afford for you to be in their way. If you have uh, uh, any curiosity, please save it for uh, some time later in the week. Now let's go to Byron and, and, and get an update on uh, this storm situation. All right, Glenn, we don't mean to sound redundant with the tornado warnings, watches, and severe thunderstorm uh, advisories and what have you, but I think in light of what happened here today, and it's our practice, and we've always uh, given people the information until the watches and warnings were canceled, we have no cancellations yet on these. A tornado warning is still in effect for Oldham, Shelby, Henry, Trimble, Franklin, and Owen counties in Kentucky until about 6.30, or uh, roughly 25 minutes from now. A tornado warning is still in effect until 6.30 for persons in Nelson, Anderson, Woodford, Franklin, Scott, Fayette, and Jessamine counties in Kentucky. John Burke of the Weather Service, the last time he spoke with us, told us that that storm was uh, on its way, he thought, uh, directly toward Frankfort, Kentucky. No report on whether it's reached that vicinity yet, but you folks in Franklin County and Scott County should be on the alert, as well as uh, people in the metro Lexington area. A tornado warning still in effect until 7.30 Eastern Daylight Time for persons in Boone County, Kentucky, and Hamilton County, Ohio, just across the river at Cincinnati. This just handed me a tornado warning is in effect for the following two areas of Kentucky, and this is a fresh bulletin. A tornado was reported shortly before 6 in Hart County, moving toward the northeast. Now, this area affected by the warning will include the counties of Hart, Green, Taylor, Marion, and Casey. So we're moving on from the uh, Frankfurt area now with this uh, tornado warning into the west-central Kentucky area. Again, a tornado warning is in effect for the following two areas of Kentucky. A tornado was reported shortly before 6 in Hart County. It was moving toward the northeast. The area affected by the warning includes the counties of Hart, Green, Taylor at Campbellsville, Marion at Lebanon, and Casey at Liberty, Kentucky. The tornado was reported south of Frankfort at 6 p.m., and a warning is in effect, as we told you, for these counties, Franklin, Scott, Woodford, Fayette, Owen, Grant, and Harrison. So they have now included Grant, on up I-75 uh, toward Cincinnati and Harrison in the Cynthiana vicinity in that tornado warning which uh, covers Frankfort. So we have two warnings, one for the west-central Kentucky counties of Hart, Green, Taylor, Marion, and Casey, and one uh, for the counties on east and north of Franklin, Scott, Woodford, Fayette, Owen, Grant, and Harrison. 
Now the National Weather Service has issued a tornado watch, meaning that conditions are right for a tornado to develop for a portion of extreme southern Indiana and uh, a portion of uh, western Kentucky. The threat of tornadoes and severe thunderstorms with large hail and damaging winds will exist in these areas from now until 11 tonight. The greatest threat of tornadoes and severe thunderstorms is in an area along and 70 miles either side of a line from Evansville, Indiana to Greenwood, Mississippi. If you have a ruler or yardstick and you want to compute that, put the uh, ends of the yardstick uh, on Evansville, Indiana and Greenwood, Mississippi and uh, figure 70 miles either side of that line. And that's where the greatest threat of tornadoes and severe thunderstorms will exist until 11 tonight. Of course, persons in or close to any of the tornado watch or warning areas that we just gave you are advised to be on the watch for local weather developments and prepare to move to a place of safety if threatening conditions are sighted. Eleven persons known dead in Indiana, well over 25 or 30 injured. The report's, of course, yet incomplete. We know of at least, uh, oh, uh, in the neighborhood of 20 Injuries that have been received by hospitals, two hospitals in Jefferson County, and the acting mayor told us a few moments ago that he's heard of at least 100 admissions to hospitals around Louisville. Now, Chuck Paddock, what do you have? We've got somebody uh, that we've been talking to on and off at several of the hospitals, and as you know, they are busy. Uh, I think it might be wise, even though we may have just said this a little while ago, uh, it's kind of strange here at 6.10 in the afternoon to walk through the lobby of WHAS. We've got the sun shining. Uh, it looks beautiful out there, but a, a matter of two hours ago, we were in the midst of, uh, oh, less than that, matter of fact, an hour and a half ago, in the midst of a tornado. Uh, I think it bears repeating that the water supply in Louisville is critical at this time. We have, at best, uh, eight hours supply, uh, and the water system is asking anyone, uh, residences, industries, to curtail water usage because uh, that eight-hour supply can be stretched to a full day if we're judicious with it and if we uh, use it very slowly. Uh, also, uh, we've still got reports that uh, the uh, police uh, are in as many sections of the city of Louisville that were hit as possible, uh, and their phone company is still requesting people not use the phone any more than necessary. Uh, we have had several reports from areas where they say, well, uh, we've been trying to reach so-and-so at a nursing home or something. Uh, it it in many cases, is impossible to call across town. We've made several attempts to do that, and the phone system is not working that well. Uh, you would be wise to uh, to not try and call if you're concerned about somebody who lives across town, and let the emergency calls get through first. Uh, by this evening, you know, hopefully we would have things in better condition. Uh, we might also point out that tonight at 7.30 on Radio 84, in place of Spectrum, uh, we will be having a full wrap-up of uh, what has happened this afternoon in uh, southern Indiana, and across the state of Kentucky. At this point, uh, we uh, have been talking about uh, weather conditions uh, in the state, and uh, it is wise to repeat that until 8 o'clock tonight, people will uh, be under a tornado watch, which means conditions are right for uh, activity to uh, start up, and uh, people should be on the alert. Byron? All right. Uh, thank you, Chuck, and thank you for the updated information. I think it's probably more critical than most of us uh, would want to believe this water situation, yet we shouldn't be alarmed about it. The water company knows what it can do with what it has at this moment. It says it has a roughly an eight-hour supply. The problem is uh, the equipment at the Crescent Hill pumping station, a very vital pumping station in the Louisville and Jefferson County area, has to be repaired, and we have to give them time to do it. So, as Chuck said, uh, the more judiciously we use our water, uh, the longer we'll all have to uh, have a drink and use it for what we have to have it for. Glenn Bastin, uh, you've been in touch with the Weather Service most of the afternoon. Uh, what do we have now? Byron, uh, John Burke is getting a briefing from his people right at the moment. He is on the line, and as soon as he gets uh, the latest from all of the meteorologists that he has uh, on duty out at the National Weather Service, we will get the latest from him. I might uh, point out something that is unexplained to us at the moment. We don't really know what it is, but 
We have had here in the studio, they have had in the newsroom, and they have had at our switchboard here at WHAS, numerous reports of a tremor in the south end. Now, what this is, whether or not it is uh, uh, some side effect of the winds or uh, something of that nature, we don't know. It is, quite honestly, at this moment, unexplained. But uh, we are getting reports from the south end, uh, the southern sections of Jefferson County, that they have had